<laughs> hey guys, it's Haley from The Modern Ferret and today I'm gonna teach you how to get your ferret to smell less. Let's get started. First, let's figure out where your ferret's smell problem is coming from. In this video, we're going to talk about their diet and how that affects their odor. We're gonna talk about their environment. We're going to talk about bathing and basic grooming habits. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about your ferret's basic anatomy and see if that is maybe the cause of why your ferret smells so bad. First, let's take a look at your ferret's diet. Ferrets are something called obligate carnivores, which means that they are supposed to have a diet that consists of prey animals. They're not supposed to eat grains and veggies, stuff like corn and wheat, but the thing is, a lot of cheap ferret kibble will have really high amounts of that filler stuff like corn and wheat and starch, and what ends up happening is that will actually cause your ferret to have like stronger body odor because they're having trouble digesting these things that they didn't evolve to digest. And they'll also end up having smellier poops. So we actually know this firsthand with Moose because when we first got him, we had him on a cheaper kibble, like a lot of people do. And then when we knew better, we switched him to a better kibble. I'll make sure to link to that in the description also so you guys can see what we recommend. But as soon as we switch, his coat improved, his body odor lessened, and also his poops were less smelly. So you wanna take a look at what you're feeding your ferret. Look at the back of that kibble bag. Um, and see what are the first few ingredients? Is it filler stuff like corn and starch? Or is it, you know, animal products like they should be eating? Ferrets poop a lot. Specifically ferrets that eat kibble versus a raw prey diet. When we surveyed the modern ferret community about one of the hardest parts about owning ferrets, the number one issue most ferret owners had was actually poop. Ferret poop and pee can be very stinky, so you need to make sure that you're very comfortable cleaning your ferret's litter box regularly because there's going to be a lot of poop. If you don't change the litter box regularly, it's gonna stink up your whole house, obviously, but also the ferrets don't like stepping in poo or pee, and if you haven't changed their litter box recently enough, your ferret is going to opt to find other places to create secret potty spots, like under your couch or under your bed or behind the bookshelf or something. And a lot of times you won't find that secret potty spot for like months on end if you're not looking, and that's really gonna stink up your house. So the easiest way to prevent that is to regularly change your ferret's litter box so that they only wanna use it, it's always clean enough for them. We, in our own household, use potty pads instead of litter, and we have a potty pad in their cage. We also have three potty pads throughout the house where they free roam, and every single night, we change all of those potty pads. So on top of changing out the litter and the potty pads every day, we also make sure to give our litter pan itself a really deep scrub down regularly because that can often have a lot of like poop and pee residue that you may not be able to see, but it's there and it's causing a lot of stink in your house. So make sure you scrub that down on a regular basis. Whether you use litter or potty pads, make sure to change out your ferret's litter box on a regular basis. We recommend at least once a day, and this will greatly reduce the smell in your house. If you want tips and tricks on how to litter train your ferret, make sure to check our description below for a link. So another smelly culprit is your ferret's bedding. Bedding refers to all that fabric stuff that your ferret likes to cozy up and snuggle into, like blankets you may put in there, old t-shirts and socks, also their hammocks, fabric tunnels, that kind of stuff. This is for a couple of reasons. Number one is your ferret has natural oils, just like most animals, and the more often they spend in their bedding, the more of those oils and that resulting odor is gonna go into that bedding. And when your ferret sleeps in that, it's kind of like a sponge. So your ferret sleeps in it, and the oils and their body odor is kind of transferring into that bedding. Then that bedding gets super smelly, and when you don't wash it, it just kind of gets your ferret smelly all over again. Another reason that you need to make sure to wash your ferret's bedding, ferrets actually have a habit of tracking litter and poop and pee into their bedding. And so even though you may not see it, um, a lot of times there's little like particulates of poop and pee in there that can also add to their cage smelling bad. Make sure that you create a routine where you wash your ferret's bedding on a regular basis. Channing and I wash it about every one to two weeks. We do a special load specifically for our ferret stuff. We make sure to use hypoallergenic detergent though because it's kind of hard to find information specifically on ferrets, 
but when you look at articles about dogs and cats having skin allergies to detergents, it's not that hard to kind of think maybe ferrets would have that issue too. So we don't use any fabric softener, sheets, um, we use scent-free detergent, we make sure to use that hypoallergenic stuff. Just make sure your ferret isn't hiding inside the bedding when you do your laundry. So next, let's take a look at your ferret's cage. So even if you don't see any poop or pee, chances are there's a lot of it soaked into the cage and the liners, and that's causing a lot of stink in your house. Oh, no. Ask yourself, how often do you deep clean your ferret's cage? This includes taking your ferret's cage outside to give it a good wash down or taking it to the bathroom and scrubbing it. You'd be surprised how much muck comes off of your ferret's cage after you clean it and also how much better your house smells after you're done. This can be a huge source of smell in your home and something you definitely don't want to forget to do. Do you keep your ferret in a room that's like closed and shut off from everything all day or night? Is that air kind of like gross and thick and stale in there? That could be a big reason that your ferret smells too, is they're not getting proper airflow to kind of get some fresh air in there. Another thing we've noticed in confined spaces is that when you leave your ferret's kibble out, it can also start to smell. So imagine this, you haven't washed your ferret's bedding in a while, you haven't cleaned their litter box, and you have poor air circulation. Of course your ferret is gonna smell. As you can imagine, these conditions would make any room super stinky. The solution to poor air circulation would of course be opening that door, getting good airflow in there. Another thing is you can buy an air purifier. We've actually had a lot of luck using an air purifier. Um, and I'll make sure to link to the one that we've used. We've tried a couple, but there's one that we recommend kind of above all of them. Make sure that you don't use any of those wall plugins and also do not use a diffuser with essential oils. Both of these things can have very toxic and harmful chemicals for your ferret, and it's not healthy for them to breathe in, especially because they have very sensitive respiratory systems. If you have a lot of carpet and rugs in your house that your ferret likes to run and play on, Make sure that you vacuum regularly to get up any of that shedding or kibble or litter that's kind of gotten everywhere. That'll also help that odor issue in your house. We use a Roomba, which has the added benefit of being Albert's favorite toy. A lot of first time ferret owners go to in order to reduce a ferret smell is to bathe their ferret and then bathe their ferret again and again and sooner and sooner and all the time and all the time when in reality, their ferret's body is getting stripped of those natural oils, which is causing their body to overproduce oils, which overproduces their body odor, making them even smellier. The best thing you can do is limit how often you bathe your ferret. We personally bathe our three ferrets every three to six months. Ferrets don't really need bathing, to be honest. They're actually relatively clean animals and they do a lot of self-grooming. If you want to learn how to properly bathe your ferret, you can check our video that is linked in the description below. All right, next up, do a body check. Check where that odor is coming from. That was real. Look at their fur. Does it look like matted and greasy? If it does, it might be signs of a health problem or possibly it could be due to poor diet. Another thing you wanna check is their ears. They have a lot of wax in there. Is it particularly smelly? If it is, you should probably consult your vet. If you want to learn how to clean your ferret's ears, I'll make sure to link to that in the description below. So the last thing we're gonna take a look at is a ferret's anatomy. The thing is, most ferrets in the United States are already gonna be descented and also be fixed or neutered. But in the off chance that's not the case, I thought we'd mention a couple of those. Your ferret has scent glands, there's anal glands that Oh, you don't want to wear your hat. Okay, I understand. Your ferret has anal glands that can actually do something called poofing, which is very similar, kind of like to a skunk. They like release this poof when they're anxious or irritated or excited. And it can actually be really stinky. Channing and I had a friend visit who has a ferret that isn't descented, so they still have their anal glands intact to poof. And her ferret poofed filled the whole room with a stinky skunk smell, but then it dissipated within like three to five minutes. Most likely your ferret's already been descented, especially if you got them from the pet store. The other reason that your ferret may smell according to their biology is if you have a male ferret on your hands that hasn't been neutered. So again, most ferrets in the United States are gonna come already neutered, 
But for the few people that have non-neutered males, male ferrets will go through something called rut. And rut is basically their mating season. And when they go through this, they get very musky, stinky. Um, so this could be a reason that your ferrets really smell. Take a look at your ferret's ear. If they have tattoos there, they are a martial ferret and they have been descented and also neutered or fixed. They also may have a tattoo on their foot. Ferrets have a natural body odor, just like any other animal. And as long as they're eating a healthy diet, you're cleaning their litter box and their cage regularly, and they are, you know, descented and neutered, they really should have a relatively mild smell. Oh. In our opinion, a healthy ferret doesn't usually smell any more than a dog or a cat. And to be honest, a lot of ferret owners actually enjoy the smell of their ferret. What does they smell like here? Heaven. Oh. Corn chip. Fritos. Healthy ferrets smell like Fritos. Mm. So if your ferret doesn't seem like they have any health problems, you know, you keep their litter box clean, you clean their cage, you clean their bedding, but you want them to have reduced odor, maybe for a temporary situation, like you're taking your ferret to go meet your friends and family and you really want to give a good first impression. Oh gosh. If you want to naturally deodorize your ferret, what we actually do is we let our ferrets play in the backyard in the grass and dig around in the dirt. For some reason, the dirt seems to temporarily neutralize our ferret's odor. Other people similarly recommend letting their ferrets play in a dig box where they usually have like rice or dried beans. That can also help reduce your ferret's odor. And so we like to do that before we take them to meet friends or family or people we're trying to impress with our ferrets to prove they don't smell. We don't recommend spraying your ferret with any kind of deodorant or perfume or essential oil. These are very toxic to your ferret, especially because they have very sensitive lungs and respiratory systems. Thanks so much for watching, and if this was weaselly the best thing you've seen all day, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye! Oh, you dropped your hair. If you're ever feeling stressed, just grab your ferret and give them a good hug.